Did you know Vart Veganus sucks at roleplaying? He's been roleplaying in racist asshole for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> or 30. I don't know how old he is. Welcome to Face Fire. <laughs> just watched Lords of Chaos! It's actually really good! Yeah. I was looking forward to this movie for a long time, but didn't have a chance to see it in the cinemas. Mm -hmm. And basically, I wanted to go watch it because uh, Vlad Viganes was pissed off that it was portrayed by a Jewish person. <laughs> Which, of course, Vlad Viganes being such a dick, we, we, we had to. <laughs> I, I bought it and now we have it, and we can actually say that beyond just making him pissed, you can also own a really good movie <laughs> that gives a impression of how black metal was back in the day. Anyways, yeah. the story is about Euronymous and his journey in being a huge influence within Norwegian black metal and the mm -hmm. whole history there of black metal in Norway. The second wave black metal, as I forgot to mention in my video. He get forgot to mention, he edited it out because, you know, the video was too long. And I didn't find it as a necessary information, like, ah, people will figure it out. But no, it is an art, a very artistic movie. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it directed by someone who makes music videos? Maybe, I don't know. But it's made by a Norwegian director, mm -hmm. who clearly understood the history. They've also added some characters, like... Euronymous get has a girlfriend in which, this. Which he didn't have, but they added it in the story because we gotta have a love interest. I think it was more because everyone were being dicks towards women. Yeah. And just to say, hey, not all black metal fans are dicks towards women. Even though it, it shows why Veganus has a very big dick to women. <laughs> and not uh, his big dick as in he's a jerk. Though, you know, this movie, I think there's two points towards this movie. Mm -hmm. The first one is to tell the story of Norwegian black metal. Yep. Second one is to piss off Vlad Viganes. <laughs> which, oh, yeah. <laughs> both of those things. Amazing. It, it also kind of shows how ridiculous black metal is. Like, mm -hmm. we poke fun at black metal a lot. Oh, yeah. Because black metal is just kind of a ri ridiculous little thing with like... Um, like the music is just fast, distorted guitars with high-pitched screeching, screeching, and the, the people wear panda makeup and medieval armor. It, and it is makeup. Yeah. It is makeup. You can call it corpse paint all you want. It's <laughs> fucking makeup. <clears throat> Like, it's a genre that looks silly from a distance, and they even acknowledge it in the movie, where Euronymous and Varg's talking, and Varg's so mad at Euronymous for not being true cult, and, and Euronymous says, you know, we're just pretending, right? All the terrible things that happened around us, that mostly was just coincidence, or because we felt like being dicks. We're, we're not actual Satan worshippers, we're just doing this for fun. You know, I... I do think that the movie gives Varg too much credit because he just stole most of the credit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's definitely an issue I have with the movie. But I think that it's very interesting and I like the relationship between Dead and uh, Euronymous. Euronymous. But also Even though it's brief, it is very interesting. It also adds to this whole... Uh, it's more of a masquerade to just get popular. But that takes it way too seriously and leading to that infamous scene, the shotgun in the head scene. I must say they handled that rather right. well. Another problem I have with this movie, by the way, because it, while it is sometimes really funny, at times it's also super serious and there's like no in between there. It's just, this is funny, this is funny, bang, serious, and then, oh, it's funny again. <laughs> Like, there's a scene where, spoilers by the way, minor spoilers, scene where Euronymous and Dead are chasing a cat because Dead really hates cats, and he brings a shotgun and says, let's go chase the cat, it's kind of sort of funny just seeing them run in a forest. On the other hand, cats. it's like, uh, don't shoot cats, asshole. Yeah. And then Dead just takes the shotgun, points at the head and says, don't do it. You said it yourself, it's the only way out, do it. And, and, and that's just a little bit distracting. Like, the movie has a lot of elements that 
Hey, if you guys are wondering, is this based on a true story? It's based on truth and lies. You know, they're they're. I I think they're mostly honest about it, though. It's definitely fantasize it or Hollywood dice it. Some parts here and there, like giving your as yeah. a girlfriend, so you feel more bad for him when he dies. But I will say that I like how they handle Euronymous as he's not a good protagonist. He's definitely, he definitely encourages this bad behavior and he exceeds in this bad behavior too. So it's more of a character study of him also being a bad person. So there's no like saint in this movie except the basis who quits. <laughs> Because they're already beginning to take it too seriously. Then Vara comes in and takes everything fucking seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't it so that uh, Varg denied basically anything in the movie? Yeah. I wasn't a vegan. I didn't drink chocolate milk. He basically, he, he said, I, I, di I never listened to scorpions. Eh. Which makes me believe it 100%. He yeah. did all those things. <laughs> like Varg has said two prominent things. One, the reason he acted power-hungry in real life, as the movie portrays him, is because he was role-playing. <laughs> he said it was because he was into role-playing and the police didn't understand it and therefore said he was power-hungry and shit. Varg, Which Varg, seriously, you're just a bad LARPer. <laughs> <laughs> like, they even point that out when he's being interviewed by a, uh, a writer who says like, Okay, so you're... You worship Odin, you're a Satanist, and also a Nazi. Doesn't these things conflict each other? <laughs> and he sort of just had a panic attack there in the movie. I like how, what a bumbling buffoon he is in yeah. this movie. And I like that he laughs like a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% how he laughs. I don't care if he, <laughs> if he laughs differently in real life. In my mind, it will always be... <laughs> Varg has also said that, you know, everything that's happened in the movie did not happen! Yeah, I didn't listen to Scorpion, I didn't... I didn't... I wasn't a vegan, blah blah blah... But he's just like, it's true, I don't drink! Yeah, that, that's just a way of distracting you from, like, thinking too hard about the others. Like, he's willing to admit one thing, but the other things, oh, no, that's meant to make you trust him? And it automatically makes me distrustful of him. <laughs> Fucker love chocolate milk. <laughs> Some of you that watched my Black Mill video and you hear me describe what happened in Norway with like the mayhem story of Dead shooting himself in the head, yeah, that happens in the movie. Some of you, I think like two of you in the comments said like, you're just stealing from the Lords of Chaos movie. Uh, we watched it now. Yeah. Like I knew of the movie, but the re reason I knew the story so much is because friends kept telling it during like conventions. Yeah, we're big nerds, yeah. but we're also in the metal community, so people continuously tell us mm -hmm. ab about this history. And I have lots of fun recounting it to people who are not from Norway, and like, people who are not in the know. They go, what the fuck is happening in Norway? Because I don't give them any other context than that. And when they ask about Norwegian black metal, it's always the first thing that, that is Let me tell you about the guy that shot himself in the head and his friend took a photo and put it on the album cover And then got stabbed in the head Yeah, yeah, a friend of ours who did the vocals for the noise chord video uh, He said that he was in town while they were filming the whole movie The whole movie was filmed in Norway even though most of the actors were American And he said it was really surreal when they would accidentally find one on the set like, uh, a K-pop shop had a VHS sign and they got really confused. Like, are they selling VHSs again? Oh, it's just a K-pop shop. I also want to mention that uh, it, Euronymous is played by Rory Culkin, yeah. which is hilarious because he looks exactly like uh, his brother who played yeah. in Home Alone. What was it? Mac yeah, Mac Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. It's so distracting in the beginning, so that's, you know... Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. It was mostly just us going... No one yem alena. Oh, fun. <laughs> one thing that kind of irritates me about the movie is... The of is spelled with an uh. So for... Well, F. <laughs> so for us, it'll be eternally known as... Lords of Chaos. <laughs> Lords of Chaos. Lords of Chaos. 
but I would truly recommend it. It is a wonderful movie, wonderfully shot too. I didn't expect it to be this well made and with this cool, these cool shot compositions. Like if you've seen those based on the musician story type of biopics, you already know what to expect from this movie, and this will probably be another generic one. Only thing that makes it special is it's in Norway, it's about black metal, and about one of the most infamous scenes in history here. Oh, also, it, it, the whole drugs <laughs> as aspect breaking up the band but then getting together again, that doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so it is a bit of an untraditional biopic uh, yeah. for a band, I guess, because it's like. Uh, yeah, they made the band, they made it big, and then they kind of <laughs> fucked up, but they fuck up in a very interesting way. I think you once tweeted that when the dirt got out, that like, the dirt is probably more hardcore <laughs> yeah. than this. I, I will say no. <laughs> nah. The dirt is generic I always said, and sexist. I always said it depends on black metal fans. Yeah. <laughs> like, glad they... metal is more hardcore than black metal. It's so easy to piss off black metal fans. They have, like, no nerves in their body. <laughs> a friend of mine who's into the black metal scene said that this, I only watched the first 40 minutes of this movie and I walked out of the theater. And I, I'm gonna give this movie a 1 out of 10, but because I hate Bar Veganus and I know he hates the movie, I'm gonna give this movie a 2 out of 10. No, I would say give this movie an 8 out of 10 for accu accurately representing Bar Veganus as a giant black metal role-playing nerd who accidentally took it too far. <laughs> He laughs like a clown who see who saw someone get hit in the head with a helium canister. Oh. <laughs> I will say, like, if I gotta give it a rating right now based on my feelings, I agree. Eight out of ten. Yeah. There are some things that doesn't feel needed, and there are, and the movie could have been better. But I think it's very impressive the way it's just made. Oh, we don't do rating. We just say recommend or not, then. Deeply recommended. If you like black metal, if you like what I said in the black metal video, and you want to be like, is this true? I'll recommend Lords of Chaos so you can see how they... So you can com confirm his story. <laughs> yeah. Again, it is very dramatized, but again, the movie is kind of very fun about that. The movie represents black metal accur accurately. It, it's it just is. a bunch of nerds who try to be edgy. <laughs> like, it is a love letter to the black metal community. But it's also like... They even recreate some of the photos that's famous from the scene, like the one where Mayhem is just chilling at a bus stop after graffitiing their name on it. And of course, the, the party that happened where all the photos were taken of Dead and Euronymous. Yeah. Like, it is a love letter to Black Metal. And if you like Black Metal and want to learn a little bit more, Lords of Chaos. Recommend. Deeply recommended, too. Also, Mark Veganus, don't stop role-playing. <laughs> Even though you're kinda he, bad at it. He's fucking terrible at it. He also <laughs> made a fucking role-playing game, but it was super racist. Oh no, wait. Because it's in a fantasy world, it's not racist. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the word of today is allegory. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, and the bonus thing, for those of you waiting for new videos, our Mega Lord of the Rings video is coming. We're almost which, done. Which none of you care about. You're all here for the, uh, for the next How to Make video. And as soon as that one comes out, the next How to Make will go into production. The script is 99% done. I just need to overlook it again. And we have a song I ready. I need to overlook it again. We have a vocalist ready. And after that, I'm gonna do requests. Basically the two genres all you've been yelling at me for. But don't worry, I have the script for them ready too. Like, I, we basically have like three how to make ready, so just wait. Patience is a blessing. And please stop commenting on every one of those videos that aren't how to make. Please make more how to make. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. E. Yeah. Just be patient. Lot of swing, a lot of duck and roll. Now swing it to the mist, it's all control. control. <laughs> <laughs>